What's up guys, it's Wally, and today we're going to be doing some battles with a clear amulet, Cerule Edge. So Cerule Edge was one of my favorite Pokemon coming into Generation 9, at least from a design perspective, because it looks like a character from Mega Man. I love Mega Man, one of my favorite games of all time. But once the game finally released and we actually got to battle with it, found out that Cerule Edge actually does have a lot of firepower behind it too. And it's no pun intended because, you know, it is a fire and a ghost type. And also because it also has the ability Flash Fire, but also because it's a really strong Pokemon. It's got a 125 base attack stat. It doesn't have the greatest amount of bulk, but it's actually not too bad. And with the ability Flash Fire, you're able to terrestrialize into a lot of things that you, know, you normally wouldn't terrestrialize into in front of a fire type. But because we have Flash Fire and we don't have to worry about the fire type moves, we can always terrestrialize into a grass type or something else that would be weak to it. But it's not the case for this Cerule Edge, and I'll, I'll explain that in, in a little bit. But Again, Cerule Edge as a Pokemon is a really strong Pokemon, and that's part of the reason why we have the clear amulet on it. And plus, we don't really want to lower our speed or any of our defenses either, so may as well put the clear amulet on it to be able to kind of prevent all that stuff from happening. And again, it's a pretty strong Pokemon. We don't want to lower our attack, especially since there are a lot of Intimidate Mons out right now. So we want to be able to kind of keep that attack where it's at right now. So the reason that we do have the Dark Terra uh, mainly is because this team was our Legend of Zelda team. And of course, in some of the older Legend of Zelda games, there was a Dark Link. And so since we kind of wanted to, you know, kind of stay with the lore and everything, it's part of the reason why we ended up doing that to Suru Ledge. The other reason too is also because, you know, with Chiyu and Fluttermane, uh, a lot of times that Suru Ledge is out there because they want to get it out because of the Shadow Sneak. A lot of times what they'll end up doing is going for a Shadow Ball and a Dark Pulse, or maybe even a Snarl if you know, that's what their Chiyu ends up running. But typically you see both those moves going to Saru Ledge. So if we are able to resist both those moves and be able to knock out another Pokemon in the process, that's only going to be a positive for our side. I mean, in a lot of cases too, uh, the Dark Terra isn't necessarily the best one to go with. Uh, but because we wanted to stick with the lore, that, that's what we went with. And it's also part of the reason why we have Night Slash on there too. And I know some people might actually ask, why do we have Shadow Sneak and Night Slash on there? Because... You know, they do have, you know, kind of the same coverage. But, you know, what my thought process behind it too, aside from the actual Dark Terra, is because since there are Farigarath and Indeedee out there, uh, you know, you don't really see them as much now as you did, you know, back in Series 2 and Series 1. But if you do have it out there, you can't really go Shadow Sneak. And not just because both stop priority moves, but also because they're normal types as well. So even though that would be super effective into the Psychic typing, it doesn't affect them because they are a normal type as well. And that's where Night Slash really comes in handy, because it's going to be able to get some super effective damage on both of them, where otherwise the Shadow Sneak wouldn't do as much. And we also have Bitter Blade too, but especially if we're going against something like another Armor Rouge, having Night Slash I think is going to be really beneficial, because... Again, a lot of times they're out there with uh, with Indeedee, so if they do have the terrain out, you know, you're not going to be able to go Shadow Sneak, and of course, they're not going to take any damage from the Bitter Blade if they're Flash Fire as well, so you kind of get walled from that standpoint. So having Night Slash, uh, I think, is a good way to kind of counter that. So again, that's our Saru Ledge. This is the team. We'll get into the battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here just haven't yet, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. Go enjoy the battles, guys. Start these two. I want them as well. I'll be honest with you, Serena wouldn't be horrible either. Unless we ended up going up against uh ah, that's alright. It's just Jim Amoongus, huh? Is that group on its like official name? It's just Jim Mamungus. Okay, win of one shot, non booster bundle. It's not a bad call actually. Nice.
Uh, it's a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Yeah, I could have just went just effing all out with that then. Okay, so the good thing is they're not terrestrializing, which means that they're either gonna protect. Keep up with the. No, I know what you mean. But I would imagine that. Eh, actually, I shouldn't say that it does or doesn't, but. Wow. Okay, cool. But now we have to worry about the. Um... Oh, that's perfect. We'll actually go for the rock slide and let's protect. Loaded dice, bullets each. <laughs> oh boy. It'd be fire? Dude, if this is fire, that'd actually be dope. You are not fire, though. Not fire. Okay, that's fine. Stop leaking your strats, I love that. Good damage. Let's go. We do that again. Because I'm expecting a sacred sword. I would doubt that they would go with an ice ice spinner over there. Spring, you're starting to sound like Bender. We have. Uh, yesterday, we actually had a handful of battles where we ended up uh, proccing it against an Annihilate, uh, like, mousehold combo. Stick to your cookies. I'm not gonna lie, I wonder why they decided to go for a Sucker Punch there. They must not have Sacred Sword. Actually, you're right, Bender is kind of the goat, isn't he? Five. Nice, we hit the rock slides again. That's big. I have not done a Futurama team. You, I have not. It's it's a shame that we don't have uh, Dusclops, though. That'd be great for a Lila, you know? Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna go Thunder Punch down into Bonnet. And let's try to get a, a Tailwind up. Nice! Now we outspeed Bonnet. That's what I'm talking about. We needed that. Really up and badly. And like, and who do you think you would do, or who do you think you would pick for some of them? I mean, we got plenty of robots now, I will say. Uh, they would probably end up knocking out Saru Ledge, though. It's fine, I'll, I'll deal with it. Thank 
Thank you. And deal. And deal. That's what I'm talking about. Get that drain punch with the crit. Let's go, baby! Okay. Um. Give Tailwind. Okay, that should be. F so. Just gonna drain punch over there again. Let's go for a night slash. Nice, we do it to speed too. That's perfect. Goodbye, Dragapult. Look how strong that is. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Get the Drain Punch. It's not bad, but they're probably going to get a Drain Punch right here, too. I actually kind of hope that it's close combat, if I'm being honest. It's not. But it's alright. They only get about 41 back there. I think because of the rounding. So that's not bad. That's within range for us to actually um, be able to do some good work here. Especially since we still have Salamence in the back. And we can be able to get that, uh, that Intimidate. So let's go Drain Punch, and let's go Dual Wing. And hopefully if we can hit this, we'll call it a day. I just need to stop effing talking sometimes. Okay, that's okay. One more drain punch will be good. Rocket Man, what's up, man? How you doing? And of course, our Tailwind's gone now. That's all right. Vaporeon's gonna outspeed. Oh my gosh! Oh come on, Lycan, you're not really gonna call it by its real name. Come on, man. Give Seymour some uh, some more respect than that. Come on. All right, good game. All right, yeah, those those non one hundred percent accurate moves. Um, we're gonna have to find a way around that without going white lines. Either way, though, good game. You know what? Let's start with these two. We'll go Link, and we'll go Rabali. Might actually swap into Cerulege if they end up starting with um, with the bird. Only because, just for a will o -Wisp, it'd be really nice to be able to get a um, an increase to our Flash Fire. Increase the Flash Fire, go Bitter Blade over into Blissey. Oh, hell yeah, man. Let's go. Oh, again, Rick, really, really good game, man. Oh, let's see. Yeah, actually, like, you're not wrong on that. <laughs> oh, hi, Blissey. I don't like this. Storm, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, one second, let me get you, let me get you a shout out. Do that. You're not gonna leave Blissey out there against a. Uh, you didn't even. Tr oh my gosh, I should have just done it. Squirrel, how you doing? And thank you, Marsha. I appreciate it. Storm, how was stream today? How you doing? How was Phasmophobia? Ah, shun of a gun. I, but I appreciate the raid, Storm. Guys, if you're in here not following my friend Storm here, guys, make sure to. Wait, what just happened there? 
Uh, make sure to hit the link. Go give her a follow. Trust me. Oh, with your sister? No way. Did you guys have a good time? Lightning pictures, Marja. I love it. Um. Yikes. Um. It's gonna be a problem. I'm honestly surprised I didn't see a terrestrialization there. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. They did. It's not ideal. Okay. I could have just doubled over there, actually. Minecraft, there you go. Oh, Rocky Helmet, too. Good damage. Now, lefties. Oh, no worries. And trust me, I totally understand that for sure. Yeah, guard must die, absolutely. Um... I mean, you're just gonna light do again. I guess I can keep healing myself up, though. Just... That doesn't who? By the way, Mystic, how you doing? It's good to see you again. I mean, I'm just glad we have Drain Punch here. I guess so. Let's go now. Oh, Skyler, because they put up Trick Room. You, oh yeah, like, that, that doesn't sound like you at all. All right, yeah, we need to take Vaporeon out. Who are they bringing in next, though? That's gonna be, be the thing. Hey, Mystic, no need... Trust me, no need to apologize at all. Well, you're not gonna do a water move over there, so that's okay. But yeah, Mystic, no worries at all. Trust me. No need to apologize, like, in the slightest. Let's go, like, let's go into Sally here, I think. How you doing today? Hey, you know what, Mystic? I can never fault you for that. Trust me. You deserve you deserve your time to Oh son of a I could have just went for the Thunder Punch. Um But yeah, no, trust me, you you deserve to take that time and be able to uh, enjoy yourself. Ooh, EQ! Dang. In a little while. Nice blue, hell yeah, man. How's that, uh, how's that been going? Okay, well. We'll go dual wing, and we're also gonna go drain punch. Oh, okay, cool. Ground? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, they know it's got the super effective move against Blissey. They want to take it out. It's fine. Hopefully two moves over there will do it. Come on, give me a little bit of help there, too. Let's go now. Bring me up to 170? Ooh, 195, we love it. Well, that brings us back down, though. I don't care about the Rocky Helmet right now. I will take that just to knock out Blissey. Let's go. 
Tabo, what's going on? How you doing this weekend? The Avalanche didn't KO! Let's go! I can't believe that, honestly. Like, seriously, I can't believe that. Um... Sauna? Hey, Apollo. How you guys doing? I know, right, Skylar? Come on up, Angle. Ooh. Let's go. Actually... What happened? If you don't mind me asking. And if it's too heavy, don't worry about it. Rosa, what's going on? How you doing? Um. It's not worth it for an Intimidate. That's what I heard. Oh, our defense is down one. Yeah. See, I, I was thinking about it, but I didn't want to get trapped into an earthquake. But I was thinking about going with a... Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, about terrestrializing into steel and being able to completely block that, you know? Vaporeon. Dude, I know, man. You excited for Intellion to come back out? Part of me wants to just go Ice Beam here, but we'll go for the Hydro. Let's Thunder. Punch. Son, I'm sorry. Aside from that, did you have a good time, though? You too, Mystic. You too. It's really good seeing you, as always. Sorry, we tanked this. You want really boom grass, Eagle Eye? Come on, now. Good time. I'm glad you had a good time, though. Alright. The flinch on... Oh my gosh. That's fair, though. But now I think we have this. And just to make sure that we actually hit, let's go Ice Beam and let's go Thunder Punch. Wow, I can't believe that actually fully KO'd. Hey, that's okay, though. Ain't gonna be enough, but... But they are parad, and also, we got Cerulege. And they already Terrastalized, so it's perfect. You want Empoleon, understandable, understandable. Thanks, Josh, I appreciate it. What up, HH, how you doing, man? Oh, let's go, that's part of the reason why I wanted to save um, Cerulege in the back, though. Because I knew that was going to be like the cleanup mon here, especially with a couple of them. Um, and that's part of the reason why we saved the Terra too, but either way, good game on that. Yeah, so we'll end up going uh, Vaporeon, Subaru Ledge. May as well. And we'll have the other two in the back. Yeah, at least you get a backpack, that's true. That's true. Oh yeah, Chocolate, you should be. Absolutely should be. The high is 1650? Nice, man! 
Dude, that's okay though, man. That's still a really good rating. Bundle and Scizor. Dude, it is, it is a nice, uh, really nice pairing. Yep, there they are. Don't go for it. That's fine. They're gonna terrestrialize into fairy. Or not. They're just gonna take it. Look at all that damage. Ooh. I was not expecting power gem, but... Oh, nice. They're lords. Wow, they really wanted to get rid of Cerulege. Still did a lot of damage over there, though. Let's see if we can KO over into, uh... Come on now. Down to the sash. Let's work on the ghost team. Hey, you got this, dude. I'm gonna go into into Salamence here. So here's what we're going to do. And protect. And I'll terrestrialize and go uh and go tailwind. He's gonna go with Prize, probably gonna try to go for like a mortal spin. And at the very least he's not gonna go for an earth power over the bat spot. You want royalties? Get out of here. Aslan, we resist. I'll probably lose about 28. 25, or 35, pardon me. Yep, they knocked themselves out. That's great. Please go mortal spin. They're corrosion! Are you joking? I mean, I guess the good thing here is the fact that we don't have to worry about hitting it with a physical move now. That's pretty rough right there, though. Not gonna lie. That is pretty, pretty rough. comes Ghost? Is that why they wanted to end up taking out... No! Flying! Okay, that actually works out for us, to be honest with you. Fair enough. We can go Ice Beam over there, too. Maybe we can get a flinch. How great would that be? A flinch right here? That's fine. Right? I gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. Probably trying to avoid ground, I would imagine. But even so. I got some lefties. Fine. Going to hands. We're gonna get rid of Glamora here. Got 
Yeah, worst part is we're gonna be poisoned and we're gonna have... Okay, cool! No salt cure yet. That's dope. That's something I can appreciate. Nice. Still can't believe it was a corrosion one. Not what I was expecting. Now, question is, is this gonna be hands? Or is it gonna be bundle? Please be bundle. Yes! Guess what I need? Ooh, that's not what I needed. The Thunder Punch. Let's do that. Perfect. Didn't have to worry about that. Maybe we can even get a flinch here. That would be dope. Mia. Oh, all right. Um, that's fine. Let's go for the drain punch. Let's go Iron Head in a bundle, too. Nice. Okay, good. We'll knock out Bundle. The speed falling is not great, but... Alright, we'll get this. This will bring it down to about... Holy cow! Okay, that was a crit. That's why. I'm gonna be playing this game, huh, buddy? But that's okay, though. That's okay, because... We take them out, now all we have to do is just continue to hit Thunder Punch, Ice Beam. Thunder Punch, Ice Beam. Thunder Punch, Ice Beam. And we just gotta hope that we're gonna do enough damage. Thankfully, we don't have any stat drops. We're not gonna have to worry about any of that. Garganical does heal up a little bit. We do take a little bit from... I mean, Salamence is gone, but can't do much about that. We do take a little bit from Salt Cure. A break. Okay, man, how you doing? But right yeah, we take a little bit from Salt here right here. One, 163, cool. So it's going to be taking 30 every time. Um, I'm going to go Thunder Punch, and I'm going to protect on this first one. Just to stop the uh, uh, Salt here on the first one, you know? Good call. Good call. I. Oh, that's right. They went for the recover on the last one. Good call on that one. Thanks, Ben. But I love Vaporeon, man, you know? Now, this is where it'd be nice to actually terrestrialize into grass, so we don't have to worry about the one-fourth every time. An extra 30... Do it, Lycan. Do it. Okay, let's go Thunder Punch, and let's go Ice Beam, and hope that's going to help and be enough. That's a good amount. Can't believe that. Mm. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's enough, baby. Let's go now. Dude, even though Cerulege was only out there for that one turn, it was enough to be able to get... Uh, we get fluttered down to where it's not going to matter for any of our other Pokemon. So, there we go. Good game.